Good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. The Vultons Arena here is a remarkable stadium in many ways. It features a retractable pitch, a retractable roof, definitely one of the most modern arenas around. And so, the National Anthems. understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1 well this setup Peter can be very defensive if that midfield is in place purely to form a protective layer in front of the back four but it can also be the launch pad to very quick counter attacks if you can offer pace and accuracy on the front foot it can have a, a devastating effect actually at the offensive end of the pitch too we go then forward it goes and no less gets into the right position to intercept Samaris and here's Mitroglu Mitroglu can he dig out a shot it is a corner to locate someone up front. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Gets it back. Had a Janai. It's a loose ball. Samaris. Out to the right. Well, the fact that we haven't had an attempt on goal is becoming a, an embarrassing... Going for goal! Oh, good effort, he got plenty on that. Yeah, the shot was enabled, people, due to such smart control and technique. to get it forward quickly brought forward what does he try from here Berisha cuts it out looking to break out here and try as they might they just couldn't get into an attacking area it's been so glue Oh, that is rather wayward. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Manolas. And it's Mitroglu. Played down the flank. And he's onside. Shoots! This could fall. Well, that is asking for him for the follow-up. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside.
Steps into a dangerous position. For Tunis. And here's Mitroglu. Greece have it back and they can go again. And here's Mitroglu. It's come loose. Goes direct to the front line. Plays it out to the flank. Just brushed off the ball there. Hoists it forward. Has a hit! Goal! Greece! A goal at a really telling moment. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. A 1-0 lead established. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. And there's the end of the first half. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Greece are in at half time with chance! Oh, denied brilliantly! Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. That is terrific skill. Finds himself eased off the ball. Tunis, Samaris, driving on a real charge here, gets up to head it, oh, just couldn't turn it in, oh, this was all about good movement in the box just to allow him to get to it. Greece are still that goal to the good. That's surely a foul free kick. Socrates takes control of enemies on the move. He's one on one. He's hit one. They've scored. A two goal lead, and they're firmly in control. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. Greece take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. 
And it's played forward. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Looks to bypass the midfield. But no less as well there. Alert. Samaris. Well weighted. Well, it seems obvious that the plan is to, to try and get the passing game going again, but not with that lack of quality. Defending was strong and firm. He's made sure that that won't get through. Keeper's got good distance on that. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Has to get it forward quickly. Tunis Muric gets good distance on it and it's been taken straight back doesn't get the pass he's looking for and they've been caught out here Trout calling for him to shoot Mitsoglu they are rampant and surely that settles it. The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's got to be a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Greece take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. It's a good look up to meet it. It's a goal. them now Greece are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield we're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net it's counter-attacking heaven <laughs> Greece totally rampant here well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Samaris. Board shows there will be three extra minutes. Berisha. Battles to win it back. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle.